You're welcome, brothers and sisters, to our Hill Media Africa here, where we reflect on self-emptying series. According to our culture, we can't move any forward, except we call on the Holy Spirit. Spirit of the living God. Abba, Father. You who can our trouble see in the trouble of our lives come and make us have peace and assurance that only you and your presence gives through Christ our Lord. Amen. Yes, my brothers, today I want us to discuss on the assurance of the presence of God and the power that this assurance that this presence brings in the life and circumstances of as it were of a self-emptying agent of Jesus Christ when we discuss assurance of divine presence, we can but recall that beautiful story, charming, that distorted our attention. The apostles in the boat, confronted by the heavy storm, of the sea. Jesus, we know, have failed the disciples, have failed the people, and sent them away. And told the apostles, let's go on the other side, but you go ahead before me. And he went to pray. When the apostles were alone on their journey, as it were, in the world of troubled sea in the world of troubled environment. They were confronted, as it were, just like the experience we recall, or we may recall, of Elijah with the earthquake, the wind, and the fire. They were shocked when the wind came. They were shocked when they saw someone walking on the water, they thought it was a ghost. And they were filled with fear. And full of fear, they cried out. That's how much in our daily encounter and experience we are, as we are invaded by the crisis of our environment. Mm? And we become often afraid. We are afraid. We are timidified by the enemy of our environment, of our circumstance. A self emptier a self emptying individual, a kinetic person, on a journey to self-emptying, like the apostles on their journey in the sea, we're so shocked and we always be affronted and confronted by such realities that their peace will be distorted from time to time. What are they going to do? Oh, before that, let's bring it home to ourselves and wonder as self-emptying people invited to empty to liberate their lives for the sake of others in the spirit and man and pattern of Jesus Christ. Should we be scared by the crisis of the moment, by rejection and oppression? Should we be scared and run into our, you know, cocoon, into our own shell because of the oppressions, the unlove, the misunderstanding, the conflicts, 
of our own environment and the people? Or should we, as we are, remain focused? I invite us to consider Jesus, who is the one who emptied himself totally for the sake of bringing healing to humanity, humanity in trouble, humanity in pain, humanity in crisis, humanity in chaos. So that the order that Jesus brings, as we shall see in the midst of the apostles, in the troubled condition of the apostles in the sea, may become real and effective, efficient in our own lives. When we channel, when we move to Jesus, when we allow our own whims and caprices find, as it were, their proper places or place in the person of Jesus, the whims and caprices turn to virtue. That's how our fear, that's how our distorted peace turn in Jesus to a welcoming calmness and order in a disorder. God, no one can find order in this world of chaos without entering into the counseling of Jesus which is most represented in his lifestyle this we ask give us O Lord as we empty ourselves through Christ our Lord Amen